G'day folks and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the MMX uh, multiplication instructions. And yeah, these work on um, words only. There's three of them in MMX and uh, let's have a look at them. P, mol, L, W, P, mol, H, W, and the awfully strange P mad um, W D. Okay, first of all, the parameters that they take, same as the uh, other arithmetic instructions, the first parameter can be an MMX, and the second parameter is MMX slash MM64. Okay, so that little bit of housekeeping out of the way. Um, the way that they work is we fill one MMX register with uh, some values, four words, since we're using MMX and there's uh, four words fit into a single 64-bit MMX register. Oh, I should mention also that um, this one is signed or unsigned and the other two are only signed. Okay, so multiplication with signed uh, short integers from um, C++ or multiplication with signed or unsigned integers if you're using uh, PMOL LW. Anyway, the way that they work is uh, we get an MMX register here, and we get another one, and we call the instruction, or oh, we should make these actually, 0 and, whoops, pretend that that's a 1. Here, I'll help you. MM1. Okay, so then we'll see the instruction P, mol, L, W, M, M, 0, M, M, 1. Okay, what MMX is going to do, or what the CPU is going to do, if we give it this instruction here with these two operands, is um, if we pretend, pretend that this is the uh, zeroth word just here, and this is word number three. I'm drawing them horizontally today, for a very good reason, but uh, we'll get through that later. Okay, so this is zero, and this is three. Um, the CPU is going to multiply the corresponding um, words. So word A from MM0 is going to be multiplied by word A from MM1, and the result of A times A is going to be placed into MM1, the destination. So MM, sorry, not MM1, it's going to be placed in uh, MM0, the destination. This is the destination here. And the next ones, so B and B, are going to be multiplied together. Give us something like that. And then C and C are going to be multiplied together. C, X. Um, okay, um, and of course D and D will be multiplied together. So we end up with um, four multiplications having been done and stored in MM0. Okay, so that's what that instruction there does. Um, but you might be wondering how do we do these four multiplications when uh, if you multiply two words together you could potentially end up with a 32-bit uh, answer. So what happens to the top? What happens to the top 16 bits? Obviously you can't fit 4 times 32 in a 64-bit MMX register. So what happens is uh, you get to choose whether you want the top half or the low half. And that's what that letter there is. So P, uh, mul, L, W is packed multiply uh, words. And we want to keep the low 16 bits of the answers. But P mul H W is packed to multiply words again, only this time we want to keep the high 16 bits of the answers. Okay, so that's the only difference. It's, uh, yeah, the only difference between these top two instructions, P mul L W and P mul H W, it's whether you keep the top 16 bits of the answer or the bottom 16 bits of the answer. Top or low, high or low. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's go over to this really weird instruction just here. This is really cool. Okay, so those are packed to multiply high and low uh, words, but we've also got the extremely strange P mad W D. And this is what's called a fused multiply add. And it's it's more useful to sort of um maintain precision when you're using floating point, but uh, since MMX only uses integers, uh, it's not really for that in MMX. It's sort of just to speed things up. 
So a fused multiply add does exactly as the name suggests. It multiplies, then it adds. Let's have a bit of a look. So something like m m zero and m m one. So this is the instruction that the CPU has just seen. Let's go m m zero has Gotta make these numbers easy, otherwise I'll mess up for sure. Uh, let's go two, three, three and five, and seven, three, two and six. Why not? That's easy enough. Okay, what's this packed multiply add words to double words gonna do? That's what the W and the D stands for. Words to double words. What it's gonna do first of all is uh, multiply all of these together. exactly the same as the uh, other multiplication so we'll go uh, I should put the um, word numbers up there uh, 5 by 6 gives us roughly 30 that's going to give us 6 give us 9 and that'll give us 14 okay but this here this right here this temporary result doesn't get stored anywhere that we can see it gets stored in a secret register an invisible register to the programmer in the CPU and what's really magical about this secret register that we never get to see is that um, these here are actually all 32 bits so all together these four answers from the multiplication um, are 128 bits long but more importantly it's kept both the low 16 bits and the high 16 bits of the results so that's what's really cool about this uh, packed multiply add. It's, it keeps the precision, the low 16 and the high 16 bits. Um, then what's even cooler than that is uh, what happens next, which is um, adjacent uh, adjacent answers are added together. Oops, I should actually rub that out. So the, the final answer that we're going to get in um, uh, MM0, because that's the destination here, as per usual, uh, this is our source here, MM1, and our destination is MM0. The final answer that we're going to get in MM0 is two D words, so um, two integers in uh, C++ speak, and it's going to be these two added together, gives us 36, and it's going to be these two added together for the uh, high D word, which is um, 23. So that is the final answer. It's interesting what it does. So pretty much, just recapping, it multiplies each uh, adjacent word together to produce um, a 32-bit answer, and then it adds these uh, adjacent words for the um, final two, um, you know, D-word answers. Pretty weird. I'll say it is. Okay, so there's a couple of cool things I want to show. First of all, you can use this instruction, obviously, if you want to... Um, Packed, multiply, and add things together. Then it's really useful for that, and it's um, pretty obvious use of it. But um, there's some other interesting things that it can do. For instance, um, all right. If you don't want to use it particularly for packed, multiply, add, let's say that we want to uh, multiply mm0 and mm1 together, but we've got something like um, this M1 um, I don't know, some number there and nothing there and some number there and nothing there and likewise down here we've got some number and some number and in both of these spots here we've got nothing uh, if we give it this instruction here it's going to do something really cool for us and what it's going to do is multiply x by a and give us the full answer. So unlike the um, p mol l and p mol h that only give us um, 16 bits of the answer at once, um, p mad wd, when you put zeros in every second um, word, gives you the full answer. It's going to give us the entire x by a. Oops. And likewise, it's going to give us the entire y by b. Okay, so that's a pretty tricky little way to get um, the full answer of a 32-bit multiplication, of a, sorry, a 16-bit multiplication in uh, MMX. Okay, there's one more cool little trick that I want to show you with PMAD. 
before we go over to some concrete examples in uh, the code. And that's horizontal wall. Horizontal add. Okay, so this is a really important concept and it was added later on to um, the more modern SIMD extensions, but um, MMX supposedly doesn't have horizontal add, but we're just about to show you that it does. So P MAD WD and we'll just do MM0 and MM1 again. MM1. Okay, if you make sure that MM1 has all ones in it, then you achieve a horizontal add with MM0. What in the world is a horizontal add? Okay, let's have a look at a regular add. MM0 equals that. MM1 equals uh, that. Okay, in a regular SIMD add, um, this item will add with this item, this one will add with this item, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. But as we've seen, the PMADWD uh, adds things a little differently. It adds within the same register. It adds horizontally. So this item plus this item, and this one plus this one. Um, this is called a horizontal add, and this is why in this tutorial I've been writing these MMX registers out horizontally. Um, yeah, horizontal add. So the PMADWD instruction, if MM1 has nothing but uh, ones in it, let's have a bit of a look at what's going to happen. Rewind actually, maybe that's quicker. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Um, it doesn't matter which one you've got all ones in, but either MM0 or MM1 must contain all ones, and then you achieve a horizontal add. Let's see why. Uh, let's go six, four, three, two. Okay, so as we went through before, it's going to store um, six by one in a temporary register, it's going to store four by one in another temporary register, it's going to store three by one in another one, and two by one is going to be here. So this is the um, four 32-bit results that will be put into the temporary register. Uh, but then the very next thing that happens is uh, 4 gets added to 6 to produce 10, and 3 gets added to 2 to produce 5, and that's our final D-word result in MM0, our final two D-word results. And what we've achieved here is a horizontal add. We've done 4 plus 6 and 2 plus 3. So uh, MMX does have a secret little horizontal add hidden in the middle of the PMADWD instruction. Anyway, uh, I thought we might go through a couple of examples. So I've written out a bit of a C++ front end here. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of interesting instructions, or interesting things there that I've written in assembly. If I just scroll down slowly in case anyone wants to write this out. And over here is the assembly side of things. But uh, if I just scroll through this, so that um, anyone that wants to type it out can type it out. Alrighty, we're actually going to stick to the uh, C++ side today. So I'll hit F5 to run the program. Alrighty, so if I just close this down. Okay, so the first one that we're going to look at is the PMULLW instruction. And that's what this one here uses, P multiply low. If we step through that. And one more. Oh, hello. Oh, it looks like we've jumped into assembly anyway. Okay, mate. Okay. Um, a is the answer from that. So we see here what we get in the uh, A at the end is 5, 12, 21, and 32, which is um, 1 by 5, 2 by 6, 3 by 7, 4 by 8. Uh, but note that it's also the low values of that. It's not the high values. The high 16 bits in each of these multiplications is 0. Alright, that's good. Um, okay, so the next one is a little demonstration of multiply high. And for this one, I've, I've used a bit of hexadecimal here to um, just make sure that the numbers we're, we're multiplying will actually give us something in the high word. But um, Okay, he's back in the uh, C++ side of the world. Let's have a look. So C contains the answer to those multiplications. And uh, the answers there are 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you multiply that by 16, and that by 32, uh, that by 48, that by 64, you end up with 0 in the low word, but um, 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the high words. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go on to uh, multiply add. 
this is uh, just a straight out demonstration of multiply add so it's going to multiply each of these corresponding words and then add the adjacent ones together and store the answer in E okay we're back in C let's have a look what happened okay it ended up with um, 15 and 35 in E so that's um, 1 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by 5 gives you 15 and 3 by 5 plus 4 by 5 gives you 35 nice one alright so the next one we did um, oh this is a demonstration of the horizontal add that I was just showing you so I've put here uh, all ones in uh, H and if we step through this into the assembly side of the world um, what you might notice is that um, my horizontal add routine is actually exactly the same thing as my multiply add and likewise my add keeping 32 bits that we're just about to look at is exactly the same again so yeah there's no difference really it's just the parameters that you give it anyway if we step through this um, where was the answer stored? Uh, G G horizontal add oh I don't have a watch on G let's put a watch on G Alright, well the answer anyway is um, 30 and 70. So uh, 20 plus 10 is 30 and 30 plus 40 is 70. Good stuff, he knows what he's doing on this computer. Alright, so add keeping 32 bits is um, that last example that I was going through. That's, um, oh, it might have been the second from the last example I was doing in the uh, GIMP over there. Uh, anyway, so we're adding um, Sorry, we're multiplying this and this and um, 32 and this one. And just to prove that we're keeping all 32 uh, bits of precision, I've made two integer variables here, i and j, you know, because you can't just look at a short array and figure out if you're keeping all 32 bits. So I've made an integer uh, versions of the answers, and we can have a watch on there. So that uh, 65536 is 16 multiplied by whatever that is. And the J here, add watch, uh, 131072 is 32 multiplied by that same number. Okay, so that's some, uh, some, some basic and some more obscure uses of uh, the multiply instructions in MMX. Uh, yeah, they're really interesting. Give them a play, see what else you can come up with, especially that multiply add. That's a really strange instruction. But uh, good luck with it all. Okay, thank you for listening.